Hey, yo. It's E King Fight News. And Eddie Hearn has gone ballistic. Shots fired 100% at Deontay Wilder's manager, Shelly Finkel. And let's get into exactly what he had to say. It's E King Fight News. And we got more on this. All right. So, Eddie Hearn apparently had some negative things to say about Deontay Wilder's team for basically ignoring him for the better part for the better part of the last 2 months. Uh, let's get into it, man. And what Eddie Hearn thinks about Shirley Winkle. <laughs> and y- y- you already know what it is, man. We're just getting started. All right, so you know what it is, man. The shout out to boxing scene. Eddie Hearn erupts on Wilder's manager. That arrogant fucker, Winkle. (laughs) All right, so as we all know, Anthony Joshua was scheduled to face somebody at Wembley, and it didn't work out. They couldn't find an opponent. As I predicted, they head stateside. They head over to New York to fight Jarrell Big Baby Miller. So this is what Eddie Hearn had to say. Uh, During a recent interview with TalkSport, Wilder mentioned his ability to have at least two years of opponents lined up in the event that a deal could not be reached with Joshua. And this is what Eddie Hearn said. Could could you imagine? Could you imagine if I said that? It it shows how much, you know, Wilder actually wants to be undisputed because, you know, he always says one face, one name, but he doesn't want the fight. That's that's Eddie Hearn all day. But you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn promised Sky Sports that he would deliver Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder. He said that fight happens in 2018. I got the footage. I got the audio. And guess what? He lied to all you guys. He lied to... He lied to Adam Smith. He lied to them Sky Sports journalists always asking them the Wilder questions. He lied to all those guys. Because Wilder wanted the fight in 2018. He negotiated with Anthony Joshua for the better part of four months. Damn near from like June to August. Right? And some of some of May. So from May to August, Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua were all negotiating for a fight in 2018. Right? Why did it take so long? Because it was Eddie Hearn that ducked Shelly Finkel. Shelly Finkel had sent them numerous emails in 2017 about negotiating a fight, and then Shelly Finkel had to expose Eddie Hearn at a press conference by showing the receipts, showing the emails that Eddie Hearn did not want to respond to. Right? So it's a bit of deja vu. It's actually a bit of karma that uh, that's come right back to bite Eddie Hearn in the ass. <laughs> and it's 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 absolutely true because now it's Deontay Wilder who had to who really got screwed over in the AJ negotiations was willing to take whatever it took to make that fight happen for September, November, October, right? September, October, November, you know, even December. Eddie Hearn knew he didn't want to make that fight in 2018 and had every excuse not to make the AJ Deontay Wilder fight happen, right? Shelly Finkel saw right through it and said, hey, these guys don't want the fight. These, and he, said it to, he said it to World Boxing News several times. These guys don't want the fight. They're, you could tell by the contract we got from them. You could tell by, by you know, all the excuses, all the... All the, every time they, they change up their own fucking terms, <laughs> every, every time we accept what they're saying, they change it up, right? What happened to Wembley was not available for the Wilder fight 
What happened to that? When Deontay Wilder said he was willing to go over to the UK and make a fight happen, Eddie Hearn said, oh, Wembley's not available. Fight has to be in Wembley. Y'all remember that shit, man? Because guess what? We did videos on all that shit. We did videos on all that in 2018, guys. So you can't, you can't sit here, pull the wool over my eyes. Can't do it. And even right now, you have Dillian White out here exposing Eddie Hearn. And you have Dillian White saying he got lowballed. You have Dillian White saying, you know, they they didn't even want drug testing, which is which is a whole another thing. You know, let's not get into accusations, but um, you have Dillian White saying. They didn't want to give him a proper rematch clause. Yeah? That's facts. That's facts. Now you got Eddie Hearn going in on, on Shirley Winkle for what? And I say Shirley Winkle is a little, you know, whatever. Shirley Finkel, Shirley. These guys, Eddie Hearn's turned this thing into a popular name. <laughs> it's, it's insane. But um, you have Eddie Hearn. You have Eddie Hearn, who admittedly, has a four to five year plan for Anthony Joshua. Now wants to criticize Deontay Wilder for trying to have some opponents lined up for the next couple of years because you don't want to make the AJ fight? Is that the case? Because, you know, that's, that's just a pot calling the kettle black. That's what it is. Y'all know that's what it is. Y'all know Eddie Hearn's got this fucking plan for AJ. He's been talking about coming to the U.S. for years. He's talking about AJ making a U.S. debut in New York. Right? We've all heard it. That song and dance. And now, with this DAZN thing heating up, with him losing out on, on, on major fights, right? He couldn't make Billy Joe Saunders versus Demetrius Andrade for reasons that weren't his fault. Right? I'll, I'll, I'll say it wasn't exactly his fault. You know, Billy Joe Saunders had his own problem with the drug testing. Now the WBO is ordering that fight once again. And we're going to see if it gets made. You know, I think that's a good fight. Billy Joe is a good fighter. Very underrated fighter. Former WBO champion. You know, he never lost his belt in the ring. So I think the rematch is a natural fight. Just like... Just like... How Eddie Hearn has always wanted to make a rematch between Dillian White and Anthony Joshua. He said that several occasions. It was part of his plan, right? So God forbid. God forbid Deontay Wilder trying to line up some opponents. Whether it's Dominic Brazil. Whether it's this Adam Kawanaki guy. Who some people think will beat Deontay Wilder, by the way. Um... You know, there's a lot of options out there for both guys. You know, Tyson Fury is the main one right now. No one's hating on Deontay Wilder for fighting Tyson Fury. Is anybody doing that? I haven't heard about that. You know? Are people hating on AJ for fighting Jerome Miller? Yeah, because it's, it's... I mean, what kind of a fight is that? You're fighting, you're fighting the Butterbean-looking motherfucker. <laughs> you're fighting a Butterbean-looking dude. Who can... Who, who doesn't have the power to knock AJ out? Who doesn't have the clout to win a decision? Who is he really fighting? He's fighting a guy that might, you know, look like he beat AJ, but he's not going to win on the cards. We all know he's not going to win on the cards. Right? So it is what it is, man. Let me know what you guys think. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And Eddie Hearn uh, blasts Shelly Finkel, but it, it was Shelly Finkel that really spoke out on what Eddie Hearn, when Eddie Hearn was ignoring him about trying to, trying to make a fight between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder. Right? It was Eddie, it was Eddie Hearn that first got exposed by Shelly Finkel, which caused him to start calling him Shirley Winkle. Anyways, y'all know what it is. He can't fight news. Smash the like button and we're out, man. And subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.